A new fashion trend has been taking over the world of old school RuneScape and it has people in a panic as they fight for these new trendy styles. We have the Blue Moon, the Blood Moon, and the Eclipse Moon bosses all trying to do their best to make these sought after pieces of clothing, but they just can't keep up with the demand. So it's my job to help. Hi, fashion. My name is Pro and I'm going to be trying to appease these crazy fashion fanatics by collecting these new pieces of yeah. Going over the requirements and how to get there super quick, I will be going over everything at the end as well, so don't worry about getting all the XP and GP info. You're going to want a combat level of at least 75 to do this, but if you want to do it efficiently, I would recommend like 90 to 100 combat level, and to have three good weapons for all three attack styles. Also, if you want to bring a crystal halberd with you, it helps speed up the eclipse boss dramatically, and if you can catch moonlight moths in between runs to restore your prayer instead of using the potions that will help with time as well all right so after doing moon's apparel for two hours and five minutes we have gotten this xp i know it's not like a whole lot but considering you're just running around doing these bosses 64k xp per hour really isn't that bad i have not got any uniques if you look at the lunar chest i've done it 20 times and we've got 997k and I mean, I guess I have gotten the arrows if you count that as a unique, but I get those like every time. <laughs> so we haven't really made much money so far, but hopefully that's going to change. And I really want to find out what path is better or if it even makes a difference. If you go blood, blue, eclipse, or if you go eclipse, blue, blood. I'm not really sure. I do like doing the blood moon boss first just because I don't like that one and I like to get it out of the way. And the eclipse to me is just the easiest because whenever it pulls you into the middle, but we're going to start the timer back and we're going to do Eclipse Blue Blood and I'm going to call that the Eclipse Run. And then after that, we're going to do Blood Blue Eclipse and I'm going to call that the Blood Run. So first we're going to do the Eclipse Run and then we're doing the Blood Run and we're going to see if it makes any difference. And depending on which one you want to start with, whether it's the Eclipse or Blood, you have the Eclipse over here. It's kind of the yellow side. You see like the yellowness on the ground. And then you have the blood over here. You see the red on the ground. And so we're going to go ahead and start the timer and head into the eclipse place. All right, this is chest number something. Please just give me a unique. Here we go. Chest number 26. You know what? I'm not even excited anymore. I'm just going to open it because I don't really care. <laughs> Chest number 27 or 28, something like 28. All right, number 29. And, all right, number 30. Number 30 is going to be the one. I'm getting a unique. Number 30. That is one hour of doing a clips run. Now we're going to be doing a blood run for an hour. All right, chest number 31. <laughs> I'm not going to give my hopes up anymore. All right, the next chest. I don't remember what number it is. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I want to test out is if I use the whip the entire time, like, is that going to make any sort of a difference? Like, does it make a difference me switching weapons and changing attack styles and stuff, or does it just not matter? So we're going to use the whip for one hour like we've been doing and see if that makes any bit of a difference. Oh, come on, you need cutie. Yes! We got Blood Moon Tacids! Yo, 35 chests. 35 chests. And we finally got Blood Moon Tacids. I got Blood Moon Tacids. <laughs> in Rune. I got Blood Moon Tacids in RuneScape. Um, just a part of an armor set. They're worth 5 mil? These things are worth 5.4 mil? Okay, it says 3.9 mil, pretty much 4 mil, but this is actively traded at 5.5 mil. Let's just see if it let's see if it goes. Nope. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it in there. I don't know. Maybe 5 mil? Oh, they sold it 5 mil! Alright, are we gonna get the back to back? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Nope. 
And we didn't get anything. <laughs> I think I forgot to put it in my bank. Dude, no, now I have to go to the bank. And that is number 38. Uh, all right, we are just about to be done with doing the blood run for an hour. And I mean, no, it was pretty lucky because I did get the, uh, the one unique, the pants. All right, since we have all the information for like the GP and XP for the past four hours, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to a full screen and we're going to go ahead and start making the table. It's not, it won't be finished yet, but we're going to go ahead and make it. All right, so we entered in all the information into ChatGPT and this is for the first four hours. And we've gained a total of 72,000 attack, 68 hit points, 91 strength, and 42,000 defense. And the unique that we got is the only reason that we're making like any kind of GP at all. And that brought it up to 1.22 million. But on average, we're only making around 305k GP per hour. And we're getting anywhere from 8 to 11 chests. And honestly, that could just be due to my distractions of me being distracted. <laughs> all right so my inventory for like the max setup that i think is going to work the best is a crystal halberd for the eclipse boss whenever you're doing the clone phase basically full defense armor for every boss if you want more dps you can bring fighter torso banis tacits um i'm using a fang but the abyssal dagger will work even better because it's four tick and then we're bringing another weapon for each of the other bosses so i have it marked i'm going to be using the zombie axe for the blue moon boss and then the abyssal whip for the blood boss and we're, we're gonna have the dragon fender equipped unless we're using the crystal halberd which will be for a very short time and if you have it you're going to want to use piety or whatever your best prayer is whenever i first start i like to go to the eclipse boss which will be the black flames and the reason i like to run into the black flames is because you can come up here and you have your fishing spot and then your herb lore so you're just going to grab a bunch of vials of water and then and then you're going to run over here to the plant and grab six of these and there you're going to make your six prayer potions and super combat potions and then you're going to go and grab some fishing supplies and then go over to the fishing spot and grab yourself the rest of the inventory full of fish you're going to cook all of those fish and then you are set to go if you want you can run into the eclipse boss or you can run into the middle if you want to start with the blood moon boss you can just run to the other side and go in there and for the blood moon boss we're pretty much just going to be going full defensive with a whip and this is what the armor is going to look like make sure you drink your potion and then you're going to start the fight and this phase is whatever blood is going to rain from the ceiling or i don't know if you would call it blood but <laughs> um the red stuff and you're just gonna dodge it nothing else you just run around and dodge it it's okay if it hits you initially but you're gonna want to get out of it before it explodes and this boss is really annoying it's basically just going to heal itself and on this phase you're gonna wait for the blood splat to completely form and then you're gonna click if you have sound on the sound will play and you have to wait till the sound plays completely but you want to wait till the blood completely forms and then click see i clicked a little too soon right there completely form click and then if you have a whip you can run here and you're gonna hit four times move over hit three times and then move over hit three more times and then you're gonna get the next special it forms click it's forming click it's forming click. And once you get the rhythm down, it's pretty easy. And that is the blood boss. As soon as you're out, you're gonna make your cup of tea and then you're just gonna run straight into the blue moon boss. Oh, I forgot about thralls. So we're gonna equip our zombie ax and we're gonna go in here. With this, you're gonna wanna light the braziers, but you most of the time you're only going to want to light one if you have time you could do two once the boss attacks you 18 times you will stop attacking and have to click again and with this boss if you're using zombie axe or a five tip weapon you're going to get three hits of the beating you're going to get two after that and then two after that and then on this phase there's going to be three different icicle pillar things and you're just going to hit them with your fist pretty much it's going to take your weapons and you're just going to hit it and you're going to dodge the crystals on the ground and then you're going to get three hits and then two hits that is three we're going to move over two hits oh and sometimes you'll get like frozen and it'll stop your attacks all right here we're gonna get we're gonna want to get a brazier as quick as possible you see that juke 
and we kind of have time so we might as well get the second one run back to the middle and you're safe and that is the blue moon boss all right after that if you need any supplies you can get them right here but if not you're just gonna run in and you're gonna clip your dps armor and for this guy he's gonna summon a ball and you pretty much just want to stay behind the ball it's not that difficult if you're not worried about taking damage you could just one click it and you'll take one point of damage every single time but if you're worried about taking damage you can just follow right beside it if you hold control and you walk beside the ball then if you click as soon as the ball starts moving you're going to walk right beside it the entire way around you never want to stop moving and you'll just walk right beside it and take no damage sometimes it is actually unavoidable to take damage but you're not gonna take near as much damage as you would anywhere else. And then after it makes its way all the way around, you're gonna come back and start fighting again. And you're gonna get three attacks in, and then two, and then two. And then he's gonna pull you into the middle, and this is the clone, and I believe if you use a special on it, wow. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That's, that's a lot faster. Yeah, definitely use a crystal halberd on the, the clone phase. And then after that, you're gonna come back out into the eclipse area, and then you're gonna take this door right here, and it's going to lead you to the middle and then you're going to collect your chest chest number 39 lu 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 numero 40 all right so i have decided not to just use the whip for this hour and i would suggest that honestly no one do that because i'm noticing a significant difference in the time it takes to kill a boss just using the whip it takes a lot longer than switching weapons and attack styles <laughs> and we were at chest number 41 so yeah if you wanted to know if it's worth it to switch attack styles and weapons it definitely is unless you have like a scythe or something chest number 41 or 42 wait, wait, wait. oh i got a unique oh it's a chest number 42 we got the eclipse moon helmet that is awesome how much is that worth um 1.4 mil and chest number 43 so if I do absolutely nothing, how much HP does the boss gain? And it's looking like around 100, which I mean, I'm okay with. If I could just sit in the middle and the boss gains 100 HP, like good option <laughs> to be honest. Number 44, 40, 44, 40, 40, 44. It's crap, I'm gonna throw it out the door, door, door. Just number 45. I fell asleep and had a dream that I was, I was like daydreaming that I was fighting the Eclipse Moon boss, but I was actually fighting the Blue Moon boss. <laughs> Yo, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, I was literally at the very end of the, the Blood Boss and I fell asleep sitting straight up in my chair <laughs> and here at the end of the hour we have chest number 47 and all right so i think i made a mistake in the table so i redid it a bunch of times <laughs> as you can see and uh we arrived at this one if you just want to look at the average the averages are down here for at least the first five hours and five runs and then i have five more to go so we'll see how it changes like now, I had to change uh, the fifth run to an eclipse run. It was an eclipse run, not a blood run. Nothing. Right now we're going to be doing a blood run with no piety, and then we're going to be doing one with piety. Chest number 50. Chest number 51. 52. Chest number 53. Oh, yo, we got, we got the Eclipse of Tadapabadapadal. That's awesome, dude. That's the third unique. Three uniques and 53 chests. That is so good. How much is this one? Bro, three mil? I'm making bank doing this. This is great. And I just spilled coke everywhere. Oh, no. I've almost got it cleaned up, though. All right, so we got the spilt coke cleaned up. It, it took a minute, but it's okay. It's a little sticky, but some did get on my chair. And we are coming up on the six-hour mark. I'm going to go ahead and count this boss, though, because we've 
pretty much almost killed him and i kind of spent some time fishing and stuff so but i will say like for a 100 percent you want to use a prayer <laughs> because this is noticeably slower not using piety like way noticeably slower not using piety and we're gonna go over all the stats and stuff in just a minute all right, this is chest number 54, I believe. Yeah, 54. No way, dude, we got the blue moon hell. And this is, this tonight is turning into a great night. We've already gotten two uniques. Maybe not using piety increases your chance to get uniques. No, no I'm just kidding. It definitely doesn't. Don't take that seriously. But yeah, we got two uniques this hour. The Adelatl thingy and then the Blue Moon Helm. So we made, just off the uniques, we made around 4.3 mil. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the table so far. And this is hour one through six. We're gonna be looking at the sixth hour right now. We did a blood run. And this is how much XP I've gotten. This is how much GP we got from that one run. And this is how much GP we've gotten total. And then how many uniques. And we only did seven chests, which is pretty crazy. I just just got really lucky on this one i believe all right so for the last four hours i wanted to do like the most efficient method and really hone in on what you guys can do to be like the most efficient and i read that you should bring thralls and and a crystal halberd to skip the clone phase on the eclipse boss and i want to see how that works so we're going to make ourselves a crystal halley and if i remember correctly you go to this pool right and then you create yes okay cool so we got ourselves a crystal halberd and we're also bringing the book of the dead so we can summon thralls i'm guessing that the zombie thrall is gonna work the best because it's a melee we're actually gonna stop a second and get some calcified moths because i just ran out of teleports and there is one all right we got four that's good enough all right so whatever you're doing moons of peril you're gonna get these sun kiss bones and then you're also gonna get wormling bones and you're gonna get blessed bone shards which you can use for prayer xp which is freaking awesome because you're getting prayer xp on top of everything else you're already getting and if you take all of these bones with a stack of coins and you go out of cam to rum around up the agility shortcut you're gonna land at this place right here and there's gonna be a guy there that's gonna be able to unnote your bones for a feat and then you can just bless them and chisel them down and get your blessed bone shards and then if you want you can go over and get your prayer xp or you can bank it all and do it later so for this next hour, we're going to be using the Crystal Halberd and we're going to be using Thralls, so I think it'll speed everything up a lot more. Chest 56. Chest 46 coming in. Right. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, 40. Though. Sorry, chest 47. But that... Sorry, 57. It's like 3 a.m. But we got the Blue Moon Spear. That's so good. Okay, it's not worth that much, but still, we got a new unique. Chest number 58. Dude, no way. Back to back. We got the Eclipse Moon chest plate. The back to back. And this one's 1 1.56 mil. I just, that's crazy we got the back to back. That's awesome. Dude, 58 chests and we've already gotten like 5 pieces. I didn't get any for the first 30 and now we're getting so many. This is so good. I'm glad I stayed up. I lost count. So, the, another chest? Chest number 50, 60? I think it's 60? Yeah, 60. Keeping on track like a trade. Chugging through the sleep, my brain. Melting brain. 61. Chest number 62? Bridgetta, a Bridgetta. I'm pretty done. I'm so tired. 63. <sighs> Oh, oh, okay, so I just got 116 combat and something else. I got 93 strength and 116 combat. Congrats to me. Yay. Yes. It was just the one swipe. All right, we're coming up on the end of this hour, and it has gone absolutely amazing. To be honest, with the Crystal Halberd and the Book of the Dead with the Thralls, I just get, like, every kill is so much faster and we're gonna open chest number 64 that's some atalatal little lot atalatally darts and we're gonna bake those <laughs> all right it's the next day we're doing a regular run and we have three hours left and this is chest number 65 <coughs> oh <my God. coughs> okay <coughs> 
And another chest. Yo. We got the Eclipse. We got Eclipse Moon legs. We've almost gotten the full set of Eclipse Moon now. That is crazy. We're at 68 KC. I'm just going to look at it for a minute. And they are worth 1.87 mil. Gonna throw those in the bank. And then we're going to continue our run. Oh, congratulations. You just... I am 97 hit points. <laughs> I didn't even get a pop-up message. Level 97 hit points. That's awesome. Two levels, so 99. That works so well. I, I freaking love that. The crystal hover, it makes the eclipse boss so easy. Chest number 67, 69. Sorry. <laughs> the big number 70. Chest number something, I forget. Chest number 75. All right, and that is the end of our another hour run. We're going to stop it at eight hours, and that is chest number 76. And I've updated the graph. This is the graph now, and it should show accurately one through eight hours, the total and the average. And then I'll show you guys the graph again once we are completely done. This guy was at the beginning at the blood, and then he moved to the, the blue moon boss, and now he moved over here. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep doing the sleeping mode. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> uh, let's do. Uh, oh, I can't do it that way. But what did they just do? Oh, maybe it's an alt helping their like Iron Man, and he's giving them like special or something. I didn't think of that. Chest number seventy-seven and seventy-eight. Chest number 70, 79, 78. Chest number eighty. We're gonna get a unique. Hey, there's that guy again. Hello. And, and there they are again. Chest number 81. Chest and number 82. Oh, yo, we got blue moon. The, we got the blue moon chest plate. It's been a while since we got a unique, but we got the blue moon chest plate. That is two mil. Hopefully we complete a set pretty soon. I don't, oh, I can't put it in my bank. <laughs> no, that dude died. No. <laughs> Chest number 80 something. Chest number 84. It's gonna be the big one. 85. Chest number 86. 87. <laughs> Chest number 88. Chest number 89. The the Makarapa Blas. The little dole. No, okay. And I mean, it is 4 a.m., but I think I could go a little longer. And my eyes are literally shutting. But I will persevere. I will purse and veer. I might veer left or right. You just never know. And chest number 91. Chest number 92. 93. 92. Chest number 93. 94. Chest number 95. 96. And we are coming up on the end of our 10 hours and it is so late. It's 5 a.m. But I'm so happy that I've, I've done 10 hours of this. I think we're on chest 97 and I'm going to plug everything in after I'm done with this run. And then, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and go to 100. I'm going to go ahead and plug in all the info for the 10 hours. And then we're going to finish up with the 100 runs. And then we're going to be going over all the information in the table. And it's going to show exactly how much GP, XP, chess, bosses you should run. I'm going to go ahead and stop the timer. That is 10 hours. And the last chest of our 10 hours, chest number 97. But we're still going to get 100 chests. All right, I've finished the table, and you guys are going to get to see that as soon as I hit 100 chests. Number 98. Chest number 99. One more to go. I just realized this is going to be the last time that I fight this boss for a while. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of freeing. I've learned so much about this place and, like, just everything. 100 Eclipse bosses, and I never get tired of using the special attack. It's so much fun. This is, like, the best part of the entire dungeon. Swap! <laughs> you just get smacked. And now it is officially 100, 100 Lunar Chest. I've, uh, that, I don't even have words. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go and look at the table. All right, here is the chart that I've spent the past 10 hours making. 
and if you look you can see on the left side that you have the first hour all the way through the 10th hour and we have the activity which is either a blood run or an eclipse run which either means that i started at the blood boss or started at the eclipse boss and then we have the attack xp hit point strength defense and that all depends on if you have shared xp or whatever you're using and then we have the gp that i made for every hour and then the total which is it added up and then we have how many uniques that we got and how many lunar chests that we got in the hour and for the ninth and tenth hour i just did two hours and then divided it by two and then down here at the bottom we have the total and average so the total amount of gp that i made was 20.6 mil and then the average gp per hour was 2.075 the average gp per hour was 2.075 mil and we got a little bit less than one unique on every Every run so we got eight uniques in all we opened a total of 97 chests in the 10 hours and we did about 10.8 chests per hour and i'm gonna go ahead and throw it up on screen for a few seconds if you want to you can pause it and look at it thank you for watching and if you want to see me do breaking and entering crimes click this video right here